Hello Aries and welcome to your mid-month check-in for the month of March 2018. Be on the lookout next week for the Let's Spy on Your Ex. And on Friday, be on the lookout for the weekly Love, Lust, or Loss video series. Um, I'm going to be checking in right now with you Aries to see how your month of March is going. It's going by really quickly for me. And keep in mind that at the end of March, towards the end of March, I think it starts on the 23rd, there is a Mercury retrograde, so be careful of that. I hope you're prepared for that. <laughs> I'm not all that prepared for that. So um, with that being said, if this does not resonate, if this app makes absolutely no sense to you, please check back next month. Or check your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign, okay? This is for Aries sun sign. All right, so with that, let's get started. So here's the situation. This is the chariot, and this is Cancer Energy. So you've got two opposing forces here, okay? Um, these two um, Sphinx, I guess they are. They are trying to move in different directions. It's like you're being pulled in two different directions. And you want to charge ahead. Okay? And this could be you wanting to move forward. Um, but there are two. It's like um, there's um, a devil on one shoulder and an angel on the other shoulder. That's what I want to say right now, I guess. So that's the situation. The challenge. Okay, so, all right. <laughs> I get it. This is the Three of Cups. So this is, um, I'm going to say a third party situation here. Okay. And you are wanting to move forward with one of, one of these people but it's a struggle because you are you know you are with you know you're you're trying to decide this okay um so three of cups here it's water energy cancer scorpio pisces so this is the challenge okay so your advice <laughs> yeah definitely Third party, third party, and wow, okay, so we have um, the Seven of Cups here. Your advice is to narrow down your options. Okay, you're very confused. You clearly have more than one option on the table. You clearly have a decision to make here, and your advice is to clear your head, to clear your head, and be careful of the decision that you make. Okay, and um, this is telling you to weigh out your options, clear your mind, clear that smoke out of your head so you can make a very clear and concise decision here. So what you're focused on is work, basically. You're trying to, you're waiting on like something to, to happen to... You're waiting on something to happen to help you make up your mind is what I'm getting here. We have the Seven of Pentacles, and this is um, uh, Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So maybe you're waiting on something with your financially to happen, so to, for you to make a decision between these two people. Not, I'm not sure if that makes any sense to you, but... Another way you can see this is like you've put in a lot of effort with one of these people and it, it shit's just not going nowhere, right? And you're just, you're so sick of putting, it's like you're the one that's putting in all the work. You're the one that's doing everything and uh, it's, it's going nowhere. And it's such a struggle to try to decide for whatever reason. Maybe the person that you are like seriously committed to, possibly even married to, 
just is it's not an equal balance you're the one that's the one that's trying to make this work and you're seriously thinking about moving on with someone else that you know that you know will put in um, an equal amount of work with you to make a relationship work. Does that make any sense? Okay. So the outcome is some kind of a loss here. It's depression, it's sadness, it's crying over spilled milk, okay? So, This could even be, you know, somebody, someone else is in a third party here. Okay, it doesn't just have to be you that's involved. What I mean, what I mean by that is like your significant other could have another partner and you, okay? And you know this and you're trying to make a decision to move ahead and you're the one putting in all the work and 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 it's just nothing's happening and they're throwing you know these smoke screens up and confusing you and confusing you like oh, da, 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 you know but in the end it's just sadness and loss and crying over spilled milk and you don't see those two cups standing um behind you all you see is just all the loss in front of you okay And um, this is water energy, by the way. Five of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, if I didn't say that. And then you have, to clarify, is the Hermit here. So it's like you know what you want. It's just like it, because you have the star in the lantern here, it's the same as the star card. The Hermit is Virgo energy. And you're going to have to go inside yourself and try to figure out what you want to do with this try to heal from this you need some time to heal before you can move forward it's like you want to move forward you want to get away from this person because you know that they're up to no good and they're throwing you off and you're the one that's putting in all the work and you know it's you're going to end up being very disappointed and you're going to have to take some time to heal from this so Let's see what the Romance Angel card has for you. Okay, Aries. So you feel like this is true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. And maybe that's why, you know, you have put in so much effort to try to make this work, even though you know that there's like a third party situation going on here and um, you want to move forward, but it's so hard for you because they are confusing you for whatever reason. They have other options on the table here. And maybe your advice is you need to get some other options as well, right? That could be it. But in the end, in the end, you know, you're going to be um, having to heal from a loss here. Having to heal from a loss. Okay. So, sorry to hear that, Aries. You know, we'll say some prayers for you. And if this doesn't resonate with you, please check your moon rising and your Venus sign and um, check back next week. And if this resonates, please like, share, subscribe. Please leave me a comment. Let me know what's going on. And please, um, like I said, you know, check your moon rising and Venus sign if this doesn't resonate. And we'll say some prayers for you. Okay. Take care. God bless.